Look who I found. <laughs> it's me. Look, you gotta do it. Beach, beach, let's go to the beach. <laughs> Fresh off the plane from Chicago. Literally flew out at five o'clock this morning. I have made it back to Virginia Beach. They're already there, so let's go see what they're up to. What a beaut. This is what you need after a four day barbecue music fest. I tell you what. Got a nice cold Miller Lite back there and I just couldn't help myself, folks. Had to bust out the old rod. Still here from last year, luckily. Don't know if we'll catch anything, but mm, it's all fishing, not catching. A beautiful evening here in Virginia Beach. My voice is still shot, but in true fashion, we're out here grilling. Fired up the old gas grill tonight. A little shrimp on the bobby with Big Dave. How you doing, Dad? Good, how are you, Brad? I'm very excited about this uh, low maintenance cook, you know. Shrimp, quick, easy, I'm excited. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Don't mind if I do. This might be the most successful skewering on the channel so far. Usually I just burn them up immediately. <laughs> That's my trick too. That is a lot of shrimp and I am excited. A beautiful morning, right around 6 a.m. Here with Bonton and Josephine. Figured we try and get a little early morning fish in. No luck yet, and I don't know. Maybe we don't catch a fish this year, but not a bad way to spend a morning. So it's day three at the beach. My fishing adventures have done nothing but fail while he just laughs. So we're back at the old gas grill and I gotta say, I'm loving it. Making some good old fashioned hot dogs tonight. Nothing says beach vacation like some classic Oscar Myers on the gas grill. Right? Yeah. Simple, wholesome, and real. Honestly, the real reason we're doing this is because we just watched an episode of uh, The Food That Built America. Correct. All about the invention of the Weber kettle, Kingsford charcoal, as well as Oscar Mayer. So, you know, it just made us want a hot dog real bad. So this is the last year that we will have this scenery. Isn't that right, Papa? Well, it will be the same scenery, but about 25 feet out. Yeah, all this land will be uh, a new addition to the beach house, hopefully this time next year. Correct which will give us more toilets, which is great because me and this guy have been playing battle shits all weekend long. <laughs> but pretty exciting. So yeah, next time we're here, we'll do a little tour of the new updates. When was the last time this place had any work done on it? Oh, there's been continuous work done on it, but I guess the last major renovation was putting in the parking bibs here and the plantings on the lawn here some 10 or 12 years ago. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna get a gas grill. It's been a couple years since I've had one. This is so easy and yeah, great time to sip a nice heady topper. And we got a Weber right here. Maybe tomorrow we'll fire that up. Well, who's that? Hi, Mom. Some good looking dogs. Brooke, are you ready for hot dog night? Hell yeah. Makes me want to eat a hot dog real bad. Dude, that was pretty good. <laughs> well, it is day three at the beach. We had a lovely time in the sun all day today. My voice is finally starting to come back and my shoulders are on fire and I've been fishing as much as possible. And in true chud fashion, I have caught nothing, but there was a potential nibble at one point. So I I guess we're gonna have to count that as a success. So like all failed fishermen, I had to go to the store and buy some seafood. Beautiful lump, super lump, jumbo lump crab meat, premium stuff. And now it's time to make a delicious feast. Bonton was kind enough to bust out some beautiful deviled eggs. We're gonna steam some broccoli and we're gonna make some crab imperial stuffed mushrooms. And at the crab store, they also had some $1 Atlantic oysters and you know I had to say yes to that. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, nice and briny. Would you like one? I thought I'd try the crab. Gotta try the crab. I'm glad they didn't pinch me this year. Yeah, last year we went out to the pier. It's a shorter trip this year, which is why I was trying so hard to catch a fish because we don't really have time to go out and do other stuff. But it is true because you and this guy back here both got attacked by crabs in previous years. Mm, that's awesome. That is some good looking crab meat. Ooh, it's really packed in there too. Yes, please. Mm. They're such big chunks. That fish place is great. Shout out Welton Seafood. Now, do you think we want to have a little cocktail sauce with the oysters or Boop. Piece of shell. Piece of shell? Oh, that's really good. Are you two fans of raw oysters? I know they can be uh, a little polarizing for some. Well, I try one at least when they're in front of me, and then I usually stop after one. Nice. Well, we've got cocktail sauce and Tabasco if you need it. Do we ever put lemon on them? Yeah, of course. Whatever you want to do. 
Very good. Nice and salty, right? I like it. Dave, you should try one. <laughs> also, y'all missed the shucking sequence because I didn't feel like filming it because we don't have a proper shucking knife here. So uh, a old flathead screwdriver was the tool of choice and it took longer than expected. But there were no injuries. No, not yet. There's a few I can't get open. So maybe we'll have to throw those on the grill. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Oh. Uh -huh. Very good. Did you try one, Brad? Of course. I can't stop trying them. Yeah, like all that. Mm, it tastes like the ocean. Are you sneaking eggs over here? I'm an egg-sucking dog. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, for God's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> Gotta love a good deviled egg. All right, Crab Imperial. This is a super old-school Maryland dish, from what I understand. And it's kind of like a crab cake, but a little bit different. So we're gonna start out with a couple heaps of some mayonnaise in this bowl. Oh, oh, God. oh. Bradley. Never look in the, into the viewfinder when you're trying to throw mayonnaise around. Next up, one egg. Oh, and a little bit of shell. Oh, no. A little shot of some Dijon. Ooh. Some Worcestershire sauce. Boop, boop. Love it. Healthy sprinkle of some Old Bay. Yeah. Beauty full. Do a little hot sauce while we're here. Boop. Boop. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Oh, oh God, right in the eye. A little bit of some freshly chopped up parsley. And of course, a little bit of salt and pepper. Let's get that all nice and mixed up. Cheers. Thank you. We really got to get some proper martini glasses here at the beach house. Mm, I agree. Oh, Dave, you make them so dirty. And just like that, our little imperial sauce is done. Oh, look, another oyster. Uh, mm -hmm. And now in with our beautiful lumpy super chunk crab and we're gonna try real hard because my mother's staring at me to make sure that we keep this as chunky as possible. Yeah, we've proven the last two years that we can in fact catch, cook, pick, and eat a bunch of crabs. But you know what? This is not even the main star of the show. All right, that's looking pretty good to me. Taste and adjust, as always. All right, mixture is done. Now comes the task of stuffing these things up. I'm just gonna grab a little handful here. Choose my favorite little oyster. Oyster? I got oysters on my mind. And there we go. Try to make these nice and tall. Crab mushrooms are made. Bonton is gonna take care of steaming that broth. So I think it's time to fire up the pit. Get that out of here. And as for the main course, we've got two, probably two gigantic steaks for three people. But you know, if you're gonna cook steaks, you might as well cook some steaks. Am I right, folks? And I'm without my trusty kosher salt, so we're just gonna see how this goes today. Oh, this little guy. It's gonna go a lot lighter than I normally would because table salt is a lot saltier than kosher salt. By volume, much easier to oversalt a steak with table salt, which is why most chefs don't like it. What else we got? And what cuts are they? Well, it looks like one of them is bone in. Got a big old bone in ribeye <laughs> and a nice thick New York strip steak. Both sides, folks, you know the drill. And mom, what are we not gonna forget? Don't forget the sides. Rookie move. You're no rookie. So as you can see, I've got a nice two-zone fire going. Big pile of coals over, you know, and I got our little mushroom crab situations on this side. And while we wait for that salt to penetrate those steaks a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this lid on and get these things cooking away. All right, as my father just said, the fungus is dungus. So I've moved it off to the side and it's time to sear off these beautiful steaks. Oh, God, they're heavy. Big, beautiful bone and ribeye going down. Ooh, beautiful sizzle on that. Now that is truly a sight of beauty, if I do say so. Myself. Beauteous. Ooh. Look at that beautiful chop. Pretty nice looking grill marks. I always think they look like pork chops at this stage before they get that golden brown. Lid goes back on, folks. Stifle the flames. Starting to smell good out here. Don't forget the sides. All right, I got a nice initial sear on these. I've got them pulled over to the side to rest for just a little bit to see what they carry up to and figure out if we need to give them some more time or if they're gonna be good. 85 on that guy, 90, 80s. We'll see how high they carry up. Probably give them one more quick sear. Maybe pop the lid on. But again, we're just grilling on the patio, drinking some Miller Lite with the family. We got the beast out here. Josie, who's that? Look at her, it's cooking steaks, guys, come on. As you can see, folks, just about 10, 15 minutes later, this thing has crept up to 114, which is why we always let it rest. All right, folks, I think it's time to see how these beautiful looking, nice grilled steaks came out. Mm. Nice looking, beautiful, medium rare. 
my, Perfect. I'm standing on the opposite side that I should lighting wise, but you know what? This is a vacation video. Oh, very nice. Father? Yes. <laughs> how's this done this for you? Oh, let me see. Oh, that looks delish. And that's the strip scope, right? This is the strip, yes. I was going to say, if anyone can hear the window open in the back, it's actually this week's official taste tester, who is quite the <laughs> mouth breather. <laughs> Because we've got a, a new guest here. Oh, thank you. Ooh, Nancy. Honor. All right, bone in ribeye time. Ooh. Where's that bone? Oh, man. Sorry. You slapped it. <laughs> oh, that's a little extra meat on there for the old uh, taste tester. Nice and juicy. It's definitely got that charcoal flavor. Oh, that is quite the spread. And we've got these beautiful imperial crab stuffed mushrooms. And we even got a few deviled eggs left. No more oysters, though. No. But those went pretty <laughs> quick. Good. Now, I know you were complaining. Not complaining, but a little concerned that I may have bought too much meat. How are you feeling now? Hungry? Oops. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> It'll be nice to have leftovers. Absolutely. All right, y'all, dive on in. Here we have a ribeye bone for the official stand -in. Wait, wait, wait. She wants to jump on that leather couch and gnaw but on that at, bone. Look at her bone. Look at There she is, the official taste tester. You should be, 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 be. Nancy, welcome to the oh, dinner table. Thank you. I'm proud to be here. Thank you. What's your favorite? Are you a ribeye or are you a New York strip kind of guy? I like them both, so I'm going to try and I'll give you an opinion. Well, that was very I'm popular. excited for the crab imperial stuffed mushrooms. Yeah, that's a new one. I haven't seen that before. I think it's a new invention, maybe. I don't know. Are you a, are you a big steak eater? Uh, yes. Well, you live like 10 feet from the ocean, so I'd assume a lot of seafood. But... <laughs> I don't catch it. I don't catch my meat either. Yeah, me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, rub it in. I haven't caught anything all week. <laughs> Lovely dinner last night. Spent the morning out on the beach yet again. I tried one last time to do some fishing and it's officially, uh, what do you call it? A skunk? I've been skunked. No fish this year, but I still had a wonderful time. So it's time to end this trip with a nice cold Miller Lite. There you go. That's so crisp. And just like that, folks, I am back in Austin, feeling refreshed, feeling nice and tan, and feeling clean. But that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know by hitting that subscribe button, let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you have any tips for why I'm so terrible at fishing, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you give any of these recipes a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I'd love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go spend some quality time with your family, and as always, cook something outside. Peace!